The next important point about ground wave propagation is the field strength. The radiation of electromagnetic waves from the transmitting antenna by means of ground waves gives rise to electric field strength at a distance, uh, let's say, small d from the antenna. The field strength uh, is given by uh, one very useful formula. It is E equal to 120 pi ht into i divided by lambda d. So this is the uh, expression for the electric uh, field strength. Please note that when E keeps on reducing, that means the ground wave is dying out. When E becomes zero, the ground wave is completely not available anymore. So uh, you can see that uh, E depends, E is directly proportional to few factors and inversely proportional to few factors. So E is nothing but the field strength in volts per meter. We measure uh, E in volts per meter. Now, what are the other things that we have? Uh, 120 pi is obviously a constant, but it is called Z0 characteristic impedance of free space. Lambda is uh, nothing but the wavelength of the wave. So it is inversely proportional to the wavelength. If wavelength is increasing, you can say electric magnetic, sorry, the electric field strength will reduce. D is nothing but the distance from the transmitter. So distance from the transmitter, if it keeps on increasing, then it is very obvious that the, the field strength will decrease. Capital I is nothing but height of the antenna. Capital I is the antenna current, which is again very obvious relationship. If you have more antenna current, uh, then electric field strength will also be high. And HT is nothing but effective height of transmitting antenna. So it is uh, effective height of transmitting antenna. And you can see electric field strength is directly proportional to uh, HT. So if the height of antenna is more, that means the field strength will also be more. So that's the formula for uh, field strength at a distance small d from the transmitting antenna. Now if the receiving antenna is placed at this point, the signal received by the antenna in volts uh, is given as, so we have another expression V equal to 120 pi into ht into hr into i divided by lambda d. So what is this next formula? The next formula uh, is nothing but the signal voltage that will be received by the antenna which will be placed at distance d from the uh, transmitting antenna. So here you can see all the factors are present in their original positions. We have one more factor of hr. So hr is nothing but effective height of receiving antenna. So ht was height of transmitting antenna. Here it is height of receiving antenna. So you can see that the signal that will be received in volts is directly proportional to HT and HR. So this brings us to an important conclusion that the heights of antenna will play a very important role in uh, the transmission of uh, signal through electromagnetic waves in ground wave propagation.